The heartbroken parents of Reagan Tokes joined Ohio lawmakers today. Together, they're pushing for sweeping changes in the criminal justice system they say failed to protect their daughter. The Reagan Tokes Act, named in the memory of the Ohio State student that you may remember was kidnapped and murdered. As NBC4 investigates uncovered months ago, flaws in our state's justice system let her accused killer, a man with a violent past, walk free with little supervision. Today, the Tokes family stood beside lawmakers to unveil this bill. It would change how violent offenders in our state are handled once they are released from prison. The legislation was inspired by an NBC4 investigation that uncovered a law that stops police from getting easy access to parolees' GPS data. Since then, State Representative Kristen Boggs has been working to target four failures that she believes led to the OSU students' death. While lawmakers want to see changes in the way violent offenders are released from prison, some feel parolees just aren't being watched close enough. Tonight, NBC4 continuing its investigation, focusing on the caseload for parole officers. NBC4's Rob Sneed has uncovered some staggering numbers. And Rob, what exactly did you find out? Well, Mike, I looked at the numbers over the last 16 years, and it clearly shows a drastic increase in the number of parolee cases when you compare 2001 to 2017. This is the moment Representative Kristen Boggs has been waiting for. Today, she officially introduced the Reagan Tokes Act at the State House as Tokes' parents stood next to her picture. And the fact that she's willing to fight so hard so that this doesn't senselessly happen to somebody else's family is truly incredible. Representative Boggs has great concern with the way parolees are being watched, and she feels there aren't enough parole officers. I heard from many residents in my district. Why wasn't anyone watching this man who was being monitored by a GPS? NBC4 investigates uncovered as of August 2017. Records from the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Corrections show there are a total of 432 parole officers and 35,507 cases. That averages to about 82 parolees per officer. Now, this is a dramatic change from September 2011. The caseload ratio then was around 40 to 1. Boggs is hopeful if that new bill is turned into law, there will be a closer eye placed on violent criminals once they are released from prison. I think we all acknowledge that this is going to be challenging and it's going to be a heavy lift, but we, I think, are all cautiously optimistic. Now, tonight I reached out to Kristen Vox, who told me of the list of parolee officers, there are quite a number who are on special task forces, so they don't even carry a caseload. Rob Sneed, NBC4 Investigate. Thanks, Rob. The man accused of killing Reagan Tokes remains in jail tonight. Brian Goldsby pled not guilty to all of the charges related to her kidnapping, rape, and murder. Attorneys for the former convict filed to have his trial moved out of Franklin County because of what they consider excessive media coverage. But earlier the month, in this month, rather, the judge denied that request. Goldsby will get his day in court in February. If convicted, he could face the death penalty. The Tokes family is pushing for justice. They say it was not long after Reagan was murdered that they knew there were flaws in Ohio laws that need to be fixed. And for the first time since their daughter's murder, Lisa and Toby Tokes sat down with NBC4 to share how they will remember her. They say Reagan had a kind, loving spirit, was always there to help others, and was active in their church. And that strong faith in God is what is getting them through this devastating loss of their daughter. Something positive had to come from it. And God finds ways to do good in all things, even evil. And that's, that's where we found the strength and courage to do it. And it's just, you know, devastating as parents. You never get over it. It never goes away for us or any other member of our family. It's always there. It's always with you. Lisa and Toby Tokes say their daughter would want them to do this to try to bring something positive from this terrible tragedy. And NBC4 is committed to following every step of the Reagan Tokes Act at the Ohio State House. You can follow our continuing coverage on the legislation and stay up to date on her story by visiting NBC4i.com.